John and colleagues have presented a research paper on unequal, isolated, complete and incomplete cleft palate operated by double opposing Z-plasty, which is commonly known as Furlow's repair. They have analyzed the relationship between horizontal and anteroposterior or longitudinal palatal shelf asymmetry on two sides with speech outcome. Authors conclude that there is no association between difference in the palatal length discrepancy to speech abnormality. However, the unequal width of palatal shelves has got higher relationship with hypernasality, nasal emission, and articulation defects. Greater the width discrepancy, poor is the speech outcome after double opposing Z-plasty. Finally, the authors conclude that double opposing Z-plasty for longitudinal asymmetric cleft palate is more successful. In general, cleft palate repairs are aimed at repairing the defect and more importantly, the uh, lending of the soft palate and repair of the soft palate muscles, especially the levators. The double opposing Z-plasty technically takes care of lending of the soft palate and being a geometric repair, it is likely to effectively take care of unequal palatal lengths. It also tightens the soft palate muscles adequately, hence this procedure should work in all types of palates, equal or unequal. Finally, this is an evidence-based study and we have to accept the findings. But I would emphasize that double opposing Z-plasty as well as other techniques like Bardak's and uh, Langenbach techniques are effective in longitudinal lengthening of the soft palate apart from tightening of the soft palate horizontally. And it, will work, it should work in equal as well as unequal palates provided the procedure is executed properly and timely without any complication like palatal fistula. Thank you.